Well, Gina, I'm standing outside the route here in downtown Lloydminster where there's a party going on behind me. And of course, it's Jason Whiting's 36th birthday. But there's also some disappointment in there as well. Whiting comes in second place in the mayoral race to Gerald Albers by a landslide. Now, Whiting did tell us he accepts the decision of the residents. They are what they are. I, I absolutely accept them and, uh, and, and totally respect the, uh, the voice of the city. Uh, I appreciate Gerald Albers. I appreciate running against him. We did a, it, was, it was an honor to run against him. We, we were, you know, I, I, see, I, I see ourselves both as being very professional in this campaign. Uh, neither one of us um, had any sort of uh, negativity brought upon each other and uh, very much appreciate uh, having this opportunity to, to run in this election. Well, with 1,791 votes, Whiting did address what may have contributed to his second place finish. Looking back, we see that, you know, hey, we, uh, we could have done a little bit better at communicating some of the, the vision with our citizens. We could have done a little bit better at controlling um, and creating policy to, to ensure some of the, um, the expenses and, and, and being, more, being better at being, holding our administration account. So uh, these are all things that the new council will have to discuss moving forward. Now to end off his scrum with us tonight, Whiting did have a few kind words for the incoming council and new mayor, Gerald Albers, who's a newcomer to civic politics. Be open-minded, be, be open to, uh, to all sorts of comments uh, from, from you know, topics that we've had to deal with and, and for the new topics coming up as well to you know, really get in and dig down and, and educate uh, them, himself as well as council on these, on these different issues and topics. Now, as for what's next for Jason Whiting, he says he's unsure and perhaps a vacation is in his near future. And when asked if he may return to municipal government, he says he isn't ruling it out. Reporting from downtown Lloydminster on the 2016 municipal election, Madam McVicker, Newcap News.